tell them the true story? Sure. So I don't know if people know that town meeting sometimes is long. Um, 10 days this year. Uh, and Pat and I were sitting together and... Every Monday and Wednesday night for the month of May and half of June. And we got to talking and we would, you know, YouTube things. Um, and Pat said, look at this great YouTube video of a Seattle library doing a, the book Domino. And we thought we could do it better. Karen said, let's do that. And since we had so much time on our hands, we hatched a plan to do a uh, book domino in Stoughton and to try to break the world's record. So we had some elements um, to the design to go along with the summer reading program. Um, specifically, we spelled out the words fizz, boom, and read, uh, along with some elements to go, you know, uh, like a, a smoking beaker, um, a book, and uh, some fireworks, uh, made of books, of course, uh, that went along with the, the theme as well.
So it was just a really fun day and it was really great to see kids and adults and seniors all working together for a common purpose uh, and having a lot of fun because as you would imagine there's a lot of mishaps that happen long before we got to this point today. Um, we had well over 100 people in attendance. Um, oh, yeah, well over 200. Well over 200 people in attendance, um, more than 40 volunteers um, of all ages. I think today went great. We had a, a fabulous group of volunteers that worked for four hours to put this, put all the books up and put the brakes in and whatever. And, and then from 4.30 on, we were doing damage control. <laughs> and we kept losing a pile here and a pile there. And um, when it came right down to the wire and everybody came in, uh, we lost it. And they started to go, so we just ran it through as best we could, and we did a great job with it, I think. Well, the, the key was we sent out a email to key people like SMAC staff, Jeffrey Pickett and Michael Hammond, and many others like Dory Frankel, and we said, is there an interest? And we got such a great response, we said, oh, what the heck, let's do it. Yep. Um, and they came up with this idea. I was sitting at a party, and I met Jim, who was an engineer, and I said, oh, you know what? We need an engineer for a project manager. He took it on, and then and, and it took on a whole new life of itself. And I think we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of great volunteers. Well, the, a member of the, the front of the Stoughton Library Committee um, found me, and it's someone in town, many of you may know, who you never say no to. Uh, and I learned that quickly, so I, I volunteered to become the project manager and uh, had a lot of fun designing it. Unfortunately, the, the books didn't necessarily cooperate um, to support going for a world record. However, the, because of that, the goal quickly shifted to just having a fun community event, and, uh, and that's exactly what happened. So we had a lot of fun today, and um, I want to say thank you to all the volunteers, and uh, I, I I th I'm sure they'll agree with me when I say that this is probably the most fun that you never want to have again. <laughs> it was a great, it was a great community event, and that it was a nice topping to a wonderful day in Stoughton where we had farmers market, kids day, and now this. So thank right. you very much, Stoughton. Yeah, thank you for your support, and uh, we will, we did not break the world record, but we did have a lot, a lot of fun. Thanks very much. Uh, we had, like I said, we had a lot of fun. Um, and I was joking before, I would definitely do this again. If we want to go for an official world record, we'll, we'll find some books that want to cooperate and we'll have some more fun.